This video stuff is a lot harder than I thought it was. Um, just doing it with the cell phone right now. Uh, I got some other camera and equipment coming because I really want to do this. Um, show you how to build some bikes. I'm going to do street bikes. I'll do dirt bikes. Um, I know mostly what I post is Banshees because that's what I cut my name on is Banshees. So I get mostly Banshees. But I'm going to do some two-stroke uh, street bikes. I got a 611 that I want to put in an RZ just because it's stupid. Um, these are all finished. I'm going to give you much more detailed content. Just let me get used to this camera and it slows everything way down. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do that too. But these are the ones I just finished. Um, I'll get you more real content as I get used to doing this and get it going. Thanks for being patient and welcome to my Herd Jugs Racing YouTube channel. Okay, calipers, a Sharpie, permanent marker, uh, ultra fine point. That's how I draw my lines. Cylinder, uh, ruler, any ruler will do. This is a three sided, that'll keep your vertical lines straight but a regular ruler will keep your line straight also. Use the piston for the horizontal. Set your caliper to the desired depth. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight. They're really cheap. Set that on the deck. Take the piston. Get it up to the, to the tail of the caliper. Draw your mark. That gives me my exhaust reference right there. <clears throat> Got all my horizontal lines drawn. I had to change out my Sharpie to a new one. Ultra fine point Sharpie. Um, this is how I draw in my verticals. I set this in there, get it to where I want it to be, and then just go straight down. Just like that. I'll do all my vertical lines that way, and then I start grinding. Okay, got my verticals and horizontals all drawn in. a dune port I'll get at it again I will start giving tutorials on how to do this whole thing it's just I'm getting used to the camera and, and how it works and how I'm gonna edit this is what I use to port Fordham SR series motor spins forward and backwards control it with a Fordham pedal very quiet can you hear it? That's why I don't use air tools. Plus you can't get in. The air tools tend to be a little too big to, to get in with the 90 degree. Um, I got a box full of cutters. The most important cutters are the 90 degree cutters. And these guys will set you back a pretty penny. It ain't cheap. Um, just wanted to show you uh, what I use to get through most of this. You can use air, you can use Dremel, you use whatever you want. I'm gonna rough in the windows now. Okay, just finishing roughing up the windows to the size I want them. Um, I try to keep the bridge here, the intake bridge, between six and seven. I don't like going below six. You start having issues. So I always take the 
calipers and then kind of get a, a measurement on it, you know, and then make them both equal. Just doing some finishing up in this intake of the Banshee. Doing the center bridge. Get it all rounded out. Okay, I think it does it for this one. Intake is uh, pretty much done. I'll move on to uh, finishing up the transfer up drafts. This is how I start moving all the transfers up. I go in and I take the liner up to the line I mark. And I go around each one of these and raise them to whatever duration this port job calls for. That's roughing them in before I do the 90 degree angle tool. Just trying to do the uh, boost or bust port here. Again, just a long shank coming through the top. And I don't know if you can see the line that I drew with the piston, but it's there. The glare might be too much. And I just raise it up. Now we get down to the nitty gritty stuff, the 90 degree tool, and taking those transfer roofs and flattening and moving them up to the lines I drew in and where I roughed them in at. Just get in there and start going to work. Just finishing it all up. Got all those roofs taken care of, all the transfers. Hope you can see that. The next step is roughing in the exhaust. I uh, come in here and I rough it all up, get rid of all the casting marks and uh, make it symmetrical. This is a three-step process for the exhaust. Uh, I use the Aluma Hog for the first, uh, the double cut for the second, and then the sandpaper for the third. All right, Aluma Hog. I go in there with the double cut and do the same thing. Get a little, get a little smoother. And the next will be uh, sandpaper. Last of it. Sandpaper roll in the exhaust. Make it look a little pretty, smooth. Just finishing up the sandpaper here. You can see the finish that it makes. Okay, the last piece of the puzzle is chamfering all the edges that are burred up because we cut into the liner. And I'll start with the updraft here. And I'll just go along the aluminum here because some people 
would complain about this. I always left it because it digs into the the base gasket, makes a good seal. But I guess it's not pretty, so I just go along here and do that. And I'll go through and chamfer everything up with a couple different bits I got. And then I'll go and inspect it and clean any little imperfections I see.